There's really two things that make HSBC different. First is our financial strength. Through thick and thin, we have continued to make money. We have a very, very strong capital base. And in this world of more uncertain times, clients are more and more sensitive to who their counterparties are, how strong they are. They want to know that their financial affairs are going to be secure. And that's a really big advantage for HSBC. Second, it's our global network, which is really quite unique from our history of being founded in Asia, in Hong Kong and Shanghai, expanding into the Middle East, Latin America, Europe, and then North America. We've got a unique network across the world. And as the faster growing economies are now more in Asia and Latin America, that is really important for clients that we've got that on the ground experience and expertise. It's really a unique advantage of HSBC. The challenges for Luxembourg today, I'd say they're opportunities really, uh, and I see two big ones. The world is so much more interconnected, trade, uh, people are traveling so much more. Luxembourg has always been an international center and has always reached out. But what we need to do now is ensure our brand is really well known in the faster developing markets in Asia, Latin America and the Middle East. The second challenge or opportunity for us is around technology. It is moving and changing so fast, changing the way people do business and people work with each other. Luxembourg has built a great technology infrastructure. What we need to do now is commercialize it. And for us in financial services, that really means developing products like mobile applications and others that make it easier for clients to, to do their business. Well, first I'd like to reflect on what we've been doing in the last few years. We've been through a big period of reorganizing and refocusing, which has been quite difficult at times, but thanks to our people, it's been done very successfully. Now we're entering a new phase, a phase of growth in all our four businesses. So in asset management, we've been very successful and we're going to continue to launch new funds globally. In our corporate banking business, we see many referrals from international customers from all over the world. In our private banking business, we're focusing on ultra high net worth and family offices in Europe, the UK, and in the Middle East. And lastly, in our security services, fund administration and custody business, we are really uniquely positioned to capture the new Asia phenomena, that is, asset managers in Europe and North America entering the Asian market, and perhaps equally importantly, Asian managers coming to Europe. It's a very exciting opportunity for us. And it's about getting our name out in the market more and connecting more. And that is our priority and project for the next, not just 2015, but 16, 17 and beyond. <laughs>